there. Hello, what can I hello do again. For you? Oh, nope, don't want to do that. Hello okay. again, everybody. Darth Nader here with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Um, last time I freed Bastila. So there's that, and she's going to be an incredibly useful companion, because Jedi are always immensely helpful. Uh, whenever I used to play, I basically had an all Jedi party. I had me, and usually like maybe Jolie Bento, or Bindo, um, maybe a couple others, but yeah, I, I always like trying to put the other characters in my party, you know, like say, um, where's my character? Like say, uh, okay, I can't use that, um, you know, like HK and the other character, well, I shouldn't spoil it for people who haven't played this yet, but I always try to have the non-Jedi in a party, but they just don't seem to perform as well, like, it, it's just, it's night and day. I don't know, the second game seemed to do better. The second game I was able to consistently have, um, I was able to consistently have uh, other types of characters in my party and do very okay, but it wasn't easy usually. And I'm just talking over um, putting some stuff into my characters. Um, but it just wasn't. The second game did better with managing other, other, other characters. This one, I just never had a very good time with that. Okay, I think I got everything. Yeah, I'm good. What's invisible lightsaber? All right, I think I'm gonna take Karth and Bastila. You know, be you know Republic Bros. Oh. Hello. Maybe. He's asking. He's <laughs> asking. He's asking. He's Rundi Hadonga Kuhunga B. Handris. Wana Kunbes. Jink Palamul. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the Mandalorian. Uh, isn't that the Mandalorian that. Yeah, I already know who he is. Why does he want to meet me? Okay, well, hopefully you get me off of this planet. Um, okay, I got the message, you can go now. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, journal entry added. I, I haven't been keeping up on reading these. Okay, Rackle Serum, Duel Ring, I need to... I got a decent bit of side quests I'm gonna try to do this episode, I think. Uh, messenger has informed you that Candrus Erdo, a Mandalorian working for a local crime lord, wants a meeting. Although associated with a known felon may not be the wisest, but although associating with a known felon may not be the wisest move, you do need all the potential allies you can get if you want to get off Taurus. Candrus will be waiting for you in the cantina. Yeah, I'm going to sell some stuff before we move on. I'll cut that, all that out. Oh, okay. On my way to start some of the side quests, uh, Bachelor wishes to talk. How yes. can I help? You want to talk to me about something? I would like I to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. Try and save you. <laughs> I managed to free myself, as I recall. In fact, if I hadn't been there, Brezhik oh, and might have killed you in that fight. It's probably more accurate to say that I rescued you. Can't you just admit you were rescued? I'll admit that I probably wouldn't have been able to free myself if not for the brawl after the swoop race. I guess I should thank you for that, at least. Actually, your presence at the swoop track is what I'm curious about. It couldn't have been an easy task to find me there, yet somehow you managed. You also avoided detection by the Sith, 
discovered I was a Volker prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Tara Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Indeed it is. <laughs> Oh, and don't forget about the rescue and the damsel in yes. distress. Yes, well, I hardly consider myself a damsel in distress. I'm a member of the Jedi Order, after all. But I won't deny you've impressed me with what you've done. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. Are you trying to say I think you're underestimating us non-Jedi? Because, yeah. Perhaps. But the Force works through all of us to some degree or another. There are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... Um... This, for some odd reason, makes Duray uncomfortable. I'm sorry. I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you're gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. Journal entry added. Okay. Well, Force-sensitive. That might come into play later. Um, let's see, now I'm heading to the cantina. While I'm here, I'm probably going to do the dueling rings as well. Because I'm leveled up a bit. I've got a bit better gear. I probably should, probably can do the next match fairly easily enough. What was that? That was a level up noise. I don't see any... Oh, Yes. What? I'm here. How would help if I... Oh. Hope I leveled her up. Level up. Okay, attributes. What's recommended? Oh. Only has one. <laughs> uh, sh yeah, that'll help with her Jedi powers. We'll go with that. Um, oh, not much. Uh, we'll go with treat injury and awareness. There doesn't really get many points. Powers... Uh, okay, I have one remaining. She's... What class is she? She is a Jedi Sentinel. Oh, I don't remember the difference. What's, what, again, what's recommended? Droids? No, let's not do droid stun. That's gonna be useless here, to be honest. Um... What's the force already do? When a power when this power is activated, the Jedi is temporarily granted a plus two bonus to defense and all saving throws. The effect lasts for twenty seconds. Um You know what? Go with that for now. Oh. Oh, I already have that. Derp. Um, okay, so what do I have? I have light so the force push, saber throw, stun, effect mind. Let's see here. There's energy resistance, stun droid, wound. I don't think she would use many dark powers. Force Valor... Uh, here, I don't have access to the heals yet. Damn. This empower increases the physical in attributes and saving throws of the Jedi and all party members by two points. This effect lasts for 20 seconds. We'll go with that one. Nice supporting skill. Oh, she has another level. Level up. Just keep going with. We'll, we'll do another treat injury. Why not? Powers. Wait, did I? Okay. Powers. Let's do. Um. No, I wouldn't really do that. Burst of speed is nice for moving around because you can just control that character and you burst of speed and it makes things go by quicker. We'll go with that one. That's a nice utility skill. Another level up. Level 6. Another awareness. More treat injury. Feats. You've been granted the following feats this level. Force immunity, stun, and night sense. I don't remember what nights. Hmm. Okay, two weapon fighting. 
dueling. No, she's a dual wielder for sure. Could go in the next. That's a good one to go to for now. We'll do uh, another point of that. Powers. Now we'll do cure. That's important. Oh man. Uh, two more treat injury. For shield. When this power is activated, the Jedi is temporarily granted a plus four to defense and all saving throws. Okay, there we go. Now we're done. What? Alrighty. Now where's Can where's Candrus? We'll I saw you in the swoop here. race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. Um, what are you talking about? My name's about? Candorous Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. I like your thinking. Uh, why are you telling me? I'm a bit suspicious. Yeah, Oops. Like he's having a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This I double clicked by mistake. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. Um, I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Obviously, I know it's so for me. I get off the planet. Uh, we'll Here's go the ahead deal. And ask anyway. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Oh, the Ebon Hawk. Um. How are you going to manage that? Yeah, what's the plan? I need to know the plan before I throw myself to uh, my most likely death. Yet. First, you bring me the launch codes. Then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. How am I supposed to get into the Getting in base? won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top of the line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Kander is sent you, and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Sounds like a plan. Um, why don't you do this yourself? Yeah, why, why are you sending me into a Sith military base? Why me? Normally, I'd do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. Uh, you got yourself a deal. Whatever gets me off this bloody planet. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javiar's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. Journal entry added. Purchasing a droid. Candrus has told you that Janice Nall has a droid in her upper city shop that could get you into the Sith base. He said just to mention his name and she'll sell him to you. Uh, Kandris Ordo, a Mandalorian mercenary working for Davik, will help you get off the planet if you break into the Sith military base and discover the planetary, recover the planetary departure codes. A T3 droid could get you past the security doors, will take you more than that to deal with Sith troopers inside. Ah, I don't wanna. Also, one thing I forgot. Mentioned last episode about the missing episode. Yeah, I lost footage for episode 9. I don't know what happened to it. I must have deleted it by mistake and then emptied my recycling bin because I usually have a bunch of like failed footage recordings that I didn't really do anything or like I might scare something wrong with my recording setup. And I must not have recognized it. I don't know. Nothing really happened. I did kill the Rancor that you. You take there's a rancor you kill uh, right before you get into Black Walker base. You take these um, like these scents. You put them inside a cor body of corpses and stick a grenade in there, and then the rancor eats the corpses and the grenade. That's how you do that. In case you're wondering, you don't actually have to fight it because I believe it just murders you. And the only other thing you're missing was me rummaging around the sewers, which I need to go back down to the Undercity to turn in these journals. 
Um, so that'll be one of the other side quests I work on while I'm here. Alright, who's next? I think I'm gonna have to fight... I think it's Ice what next. You got? Wait, let me guess. Now that you're a duelist, you figure we have something in common. Something to chat about, right? Wrong. Just because we're both duelists doesn't mean Why we're so suddenly mean? friends. So give me some space, stranger. I've got nothing more to say to you. Oh, fair enough. I see you got your feet wet in the duel ring. Not bad. You've got real talent, kid. Stick with it and you'll go places. Um, I'm looking for If you're match. interested in setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak. Oh, yeah, okay. Goodbye, Stu. I think... Talk to Ajur. He's in charge here. Twitch. <laughs> Twitch TV? Oh, this guy, the crazy guy. Uh, what the hell are you talking about? Uh, goodbye then. I don't even want to talk to the fans. I don't want. Uh, Duray doesn't care about fans. He's yeah. doing this for the money. Damn right. No. It's just for the money. Doesn't actually like. Dre doesn't actually like fighting. Dre doesn't like fighting, I think. He's doing. He does when he has to, because, you know, it's just. It, it is what it is. But he doesn't take any particular enjoyment out of it. Um, he does it for his personal gain when it benefits him, but he doesn't enjoy fighting just for the sake of fighting. He is not that type of character. Um, he's, uh, yeah, he doesn't care about that. Am I ready? Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, I used to a meet you. <laughs> her step into the big leagues. I give you the mysterious stranger. I love puns, so I couldn't resist that. Oh boy. Um. She's just gonna charge me. Ooh, cryo, cryo -pancer. Oh, wait, no, she's using her blasters. Okay. Shield. I must have... I don't know how many, many grenades left, so I thought. There we go. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Ice is knocked out cold! Looks like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks. But how high can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see. There we go. Drill entry added experience points. I've never been one to shy away from the cold, hard truth. So I'll just come right out and say it. I can't compete with the likes of you, stranger. Damn right. I know when I'm overmatched. You're good. Very good. But you're wrong if you think that means I'm suddenly going to warm up to you. Truth is, I really don't have anything more to say. So you might as well move on. Okay, somebody's a bit, uh, somebody's a bit salty. Salt and ice, that's, that, no, that, I just salted your ice. 
He just melted. <laughs> Okay, how much money do I have now? Ooh, that's a nice number. Alright, I'll come back and do the next one. Um, in a few. I don't think there's anything else I need to do in this place. Pendex Starkiller. Do you have anything back else to say? Camp? You're starting to bore me. I don't come here to talk, I come to watch the duels and see if there's anyone worthy of stepping into the ring with me. Yep, oh, okay. Yep, yep. I already know. Alright, off to go get this droid, and then I'm gonna swing by the Undercity for a few... Well, no, I could do the Sith base, and then on the way back to Candorus, uh, do some of my quests down there. That's what I'll do. Because I believe I have some bounties. Uh, the Duel Ring. With your victory over ice, people are beginning to notice your accomplishments in the ring. If you continue to climb the ranks, a championship match is inevitable. Okay, I think I can go over here, turn this, do some of this rat ghoul serum. Bastila, I was wondering oh. something. How did those Vulcans right, right. manage to capture a famous Jedi like you? Were you knocked out when your escape pod crashed? No, I was conscious. But my force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the Ender Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but I've seen you Jedi in action. There's, there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. My lightsaber was misplaced. Misplaced? I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that pod. The Vulcas came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You lost <laughs> your lightsaber? <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? <laughs> of all the Jedi in the galaxy, where do we get the one who's apps blinded? It's no laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It, it must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcans probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. Take my advice. This is one detail you might want to keep out of the history. Nope, I'll make sure they know. I consider myself a legend, Calf. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. Don't worry. I'll tell them. I'll tell them every embarrassing detail. Well, hello. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? I can treat you right here at the center for almost any condition, except the raccoon disease, of course. Um, I have this serum. I found this. You have the serum? Impossible. How did you get this? No, wait. I don't really want to know. Can... Can I see it? The serum, I mean? I need to see if there is enough for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quantities. Um... I, I No, I want to be paid I'm for not this. a wealthy man. All I can offer is a handful of credits and a few extra med packs. I need those med packs. Hmm... Let me see. Yes, this is it. A cure for the rat ghoul disease. With this sample, I can make enough serum for everyone. The people of Terrace owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take this small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I can afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. N um... That's it? Oops. I suppose I could give you a discount here at my shop in addition Works to the credits and med packs. Other than that, there is really nothing else I can offer. I appreciate everything you've done. There are many who would have sold the serum to the crime lord Davik for a much higher sum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Oh. Why didn't I think of that? That's a Duray's facepalm moment. Of course. Uh, but if you discount, here. I'm going to go ahead and start buying up some, uh, take all those. 
need all the med packs. Um, anything else I can get rid of while I'm here? Probably should get rid of these belts. I'll do that later. Light side points gained. Uh, Dre is not a complete asshole, but I think you know what? I think he Can't offers. You see I'm busy with I think he offers to buy it instead, but he never stopped me, so my, you know, Dre doesn't know this. Again, this is not using prior game knowledge as best as I can. Basila, did you ever think about joining oh, all hello. the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? I mean, would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, so but the wisdom of the She's Nazis slightly see -through. saw beyond the immediate threat. Her, her, something up with Bassa's model. I can see vague out, like it's slightly slightly see-through that's weird um what there did you see exactly yeah something that devoured Revan yeah you can see the lot yeah yeah Jedi. you can see the person walk the council sent us all into the, the unknown hell? how many more would have fallen so you're saying we should have done nothing just let the mandalorians conquer us on the post i mean the republic was under attack and the order abandoned us we did not abandon you but the council were not about to throw lives away foolishly in time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians, but you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer, and the Republic chose to walk the easy path rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You asked me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right, and every single one of them would be speaking Mandalorian. I, I think we're done. Let's just get back to the task at hand. A bit of a touchy subject, I see. Is is it still? Uh, no. How do I get in the first person uh -huh. tab? What no. can I do? Yes. Oh, well, there was a way to get into first. Hold on. Aha. I can't. I'll show you what happens when the person walk. Yeah, she is slightly like opaque. That's weird. I wonder if that's just her outfit model. That's really weird. This is what happens when you play a game this old. Uh, oh, why am I spinning? Why am I... Oh. My mercer, my cursor was off the screen. That's why I was spinning. Yeah, um, I'm playing in windowed mode because it's, it doesn't really work very well in full screen. There are many issues. I still need to find a fix for the um, stealth. I look forward to what I can. Cause that I still need to find a fix for that. I, I keep forgetting about it. Unlike the grass texture. <laughs> Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're Aww. too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Um, you know what? Yeah. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. You want get to oh, just run for shoot it. you kids. Hate kids. See, I just kind of want to just decide. No, I don't like any of these options. Because I don't really, you know, whatever. I'm not going to give him a med kit. Yep. Yep, yep. 
he was he, he Dre was willing to chase off the kids, but he wasn't gonna give the guy a med kit. Oh boy, what does Karth want this time? Yes, what's on your mind? Um just wanted to talk oh, with you. Want to argue some more, is that it? <laughs> yeah, I'm always up so for a good I'm fight. Saying, if I were Malik, I'd be a bit nervous to have you on my tail. I just don't trust easily. And for good reasons, which are my own. With what reasons, oh, I want to know. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here it goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud to have served in their fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, at least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. And we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it, if you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? I feel like there's more to it. Yeah, why is it so personal? Uh, of course the Jedi turned to the dark side. There were others, however, who weren't Jedi. Good men, trusted men, who joined them. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done. But the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. <laughs> I know, I know. And I should Hatred apologize leads to the dark to side, I've don't you know? I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... No, never mind. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I'd rather not talk about it. Ah, uh, there's more to it. I know. Uh, it's obvious that Karth is mostly scarred by betrayal of friends and allies at the start of the Sith War. There's probably more to the story, but he doesn't want to discuss it right now. Alright, now can I finally go get destroyed? There's the crazy old man. Wait, it's over here. Right, a right. Plague spreads I know what I'm doing, streets. I think. Sometimes. I've played this game many times, and I still don't always know what I'm doing. Hachu a punky. Jishawa a nibun kasha. Chona si ichua pyong bo joni. Mina mamba to mule ra. Haku gri kat kota parabola. Uh, Kendra sent me. Mokao danya foki, chachiska to punta kakaspaka, ban no oto. Uh, I don't want a pen. Uh. I give you half. Pencho pa chawi ti chop twis yun kun, watu yama kama wona henak neck. Bugra shak kunti chi wa mchawa, dong abuk shami no no. Fine. Um, no, I'm not planning to go to the Sith base just yet. So, yeah. I'll go to the Sith. Where else was I was I planning? Oh, the Sith base is just over there. Is it? Oh, the lower city. Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. Here? He, my warning oh. before. I leveled. Level up. Attributes. Um. I I'm never really sure what to do. Do you recommend? No. Let's go with one well, more. Uh. Intelligence. We'll go with that. Skills. Stealth demolitions? No, let's put that point to security instead. So my failed use at mines has really done me any good, so I'm gonna keep that there for now. Um, no, I mean, I'm gonna use stealth. Put persuade up. And then we'll put. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Uh, let's see here. No, wait, no. Maybe... Um... 
indecision, indecision. Implants. Implants are helpful. It is too All right. Late. All right. I think. Oh, oh. He's talk. Oh, I just got done talking to you. Yes. What's in your mind? I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> it was just two minutes ago. I suppose you're right. Fine, then. But I, I don't know why you're so interested, but here goes. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respect the most. Saw. So, say that like I should know that. I'm gonna say, yeah, he doesn't remember it. He's, yeah. You don't. I thought everyone did. But Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier. And I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him and he got angry and he left. I never saw him again. Um... Didn't think he could the Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. Even when things looked to be at their worst, I just I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. Do you really believe that? I don't know, maybe. He might have killed me if I tried, or I might have killed him. I was stupid, however, and I let him go. I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. Uh, yeah, I would do the same. He'd have a blaster hole in his well, chest. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Alrighty. Karth. You've learned that Karth mentor Saul Karth was one of the first to infect the Sith cause. It's no wonder Karth has trust issues, so he seems reluctant to talk about it right now. Alright. Um, next time, the evil we're works gonna, among us. The let's get away from here. the nutter, now. so... Next time, I'm going to uh, make my way towards the Sith base. Probably be the next thing I do. I have a lot more side quests, but... I will... I'll work on those before we finish up the terrace, because there's still a lot to go through. There's a point of return where you pretty much have to finish it and you can't go back. So before I get to that point, I'll work on the side quests when you go down to the Undercity. I need to do some of the bounties. There's the dueling ring. So we'll do that too, probably after the Sith base. And then we will do the last bit, and we'll be off of this planet, hopefully, maybe. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Bye!